So how does one go about getting nice, beautiful, diffused light on their subjects? Hey, how's it going? Todd with Shutterstock here, and today we're gonna to talk about a few basic principles about diffusion, and I'm gonna show you a few really cost-effective ways to get diffusion onto your subject. Now, a common misconception about diffusion is that all you need to do is just slap one of these onto the front of your light source. Well, let me show you exactly what that looks like. Here's what it looks like with a light that has no diffusion whatsoever. And then now we're gonna go ahead and throw some diffusion right onto the front of the light source. And then now let's compare the two. As you can see, there's not really that big of a difference. It still looks really, really harsh and the light quality isn't really changed that much at all. So when you throw some diffusion just right on the front of your light source, all you're really doing is maybe dispersing the light a little bit more. What you wanna do is make your light source as big as possible in relation to your subject. So the closer and bigger your light source is to your subject that you're shooting, the more soft the light will appear. So while there are hundreds and hundreds of ways that you can diffuse light and make nice soft light for your subjects, I'm gonna show you a few that I like to use and they just happen to be ones that I personally own. So this right here is a four x four frame by a company called Photodiox and it's super cheap, super affordable. You can get it for under 200 bucks, I think, on Amazon. What you'll see here is we've got a nice baby pen adapter so we can stick it right onto a light stand and we have some nice translucent diffusion. It's pretty close to a type of diffusion material called grid cloth, probably a half grid cloth, something like that. And this is gonna give us really nice, big diffused light. So again, all we're doing is taking our light source, which in this case is a Aperture 120D, and we're just blasting light straight into this four x four frame. And as you can see, it's providing some really, really nice soft light on our subject. I highly recommend this frame. It's really affordable. It folds down into a really nice carrying case, and it also comes with some bounce materials, like a full reflector and something like an ultra bounce type material. So let's compare the four x four frame to no diffusion whatsoever. All right, now let's talk about a thing called frost. So what we have here is a type of frost called opal. Basically, you'll see things like this skinned onto a frame and you slide them into a C-stand. And there's a whole lot of different varieties of this stuff. You've got half soft frost, 250, 252, uh, and this one is called opal and that's my personal favorite type of frost diffusion. So these actually come in big, big rolls of it. I'm kind of nearing the end of this one, but it's lasted me a long time, and what you can do is just throw it on the gobo arm of your C-stand, just like that, and right there you've got a nice big bit of diffusion that you can throw in front of your light source and diffuse your light. So let's compare the opal diffusion to the big frame. And now let's compare all three between no diffusion, the opal diffusion, and the frame diffusion. So let's say you're a little bit tight on cash and you don't wanna buy a big frame or a roll of diffusion. I've got the perfect solution for you. This right here is a shower curtain. And they can be bought for five to six bucks, pretty much any store you can think of, and you'll be pretty amazed at how beautiful a quality of light you can get using a shower curtain diffusion. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's one of my favorite ways to diffuse light. All you gotta do is just put it up on the gobo arm of your C-stand, clamp it with a couple of spring clamps, and you're good to go. So let's have a quick look at what the shower curtain diffusion looks like in comparison to Opal. And here's what it looks like compared to the diffusion on our 4x4 frame. And again, let's compare all three. And of course, probably the most common way to diffuse light is using a softbox or something like this light dome by Aperture, which has a more circular shape. But the idea with these is to have your source and your diffusion in one movable object. And a lot of soft boxes, like this light dome that I'm being lit with right now included, they usually have a layer of diffusion inside of the soft box before it even hits the front layer of diffusion. So you're getting 
dual layers of diffusion most of the time with most soft boxes. Let's take a look at how the Aperture Light Dome compares to like a 4x4 frame or the Opal. or our shower curtain. Once you put some diffusion in front of your light source, then the diffusion layer becomes your light source. And the bigger your light source, the softer the light is going to look. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, we got a lot more content coming out just like this in the future. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.